And I love the scenarios. That's what I think. I think that's my favorite thing is the the reenactment of a of a of a dating scene. Is there any? Do you have any favorites of like stuff that you've reenacted before, where like you try to illustrate an example? Of uh, I I really like. Um, we this was kind of our first one we came up with, which was your band. Oh and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the idea of that was the this girl. was literally our first ever when we started the blog in January of uh, two thousand nine. Yeah, our literally our first one ever. The thing that gave us the idea to start the website yeah. was the idea of the uh, the the singer songwriter, the sort of a coffee shop open mic musician. Mm -hmm. uh, who you have is, a first date, it goes really well, and you yeah. think you like the guy, and he's like, oh, do you want to come up for a drink? And it's like, yeah, sure, I really like this guy. Sure, meet me at this bar. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's going to be some people there. There's probably going to be some live music. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. And then you show up, and he's sitting on a stool. Uh, <laughs> an with an acoustic guitar. guitar. <laughs> maybe a headband. Maybe uh, a leather a leather armband. A leather cuff. Uh, yeah. Because w the face that you have to make when somebody's looking at you, gauging a reaction of their playing music, there's no uh, there's no mind face connection to portray what you're actually feeling. She does a really good. She does a really good. Okay, um, so we'll face do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You this can is the, you this can is the face. This is the face. Uh, this next song is for a pretty special girl. Uh, her name's Marissa, and we just started seeing each other, and she's sitting right there. Okay. You're special to me, baby. Ooh, you make me feel real. And I want to tell you, see, every day I'm a little alive. Oh, you blonde hair. Look, for, <laughs> screenshot this face. Oh, no. That is the face oh, of no. what am I doing? the worst acting. I let this guy touch my boobs. <laughs> let it yeah. touch the boobs. Yeah, <laughs> the Sunset Strip. That's uh, happening right now. On the right sunset now, strip and all over America. Oh my mm -hmm. God, fantastic! Yeah. It's tremendous. It's like those awkward, you know, the, the awkward family photos. It's like the yeah. awkward dating photo yeah. moments that you keep in your mind. It's that snapshot of yeah, the guy, the guy who serenaded you from the front row. Yeah. And just. But he's sincere. Like he has no irony about it at all. So. But that's he, almost. This is a real thing for him. It's real. Yeah. Oh my God. And uh, well, you know, if there's another uh, scenario that you guys have, like I know that I know that you've done one. Uh, I'm trying to think where. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, nah, that's no good. No, not that. Get that out. Um, <laughs> get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, no. I, um, the guy, which you did in the clip earlier, the guy who uh, you, is nervous to make the first move. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, what what kind of, what, like, would there be something that would be an absolute deal breaker? Like, I, I've heard people who, like, they don't want to hold hands ever, or they don't want to, like, what, what, what about the first move can you... Can you overcome? Can you? What kind of deal breaker with the first move well, could you? Well, to me, it's funny because, and this is another kind of semi-recent thing, because we've started to answer uh, advice questions on our blog. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, if any of the viewers want to ask us a question, we will answer yes. it. <laughs> that you're incredible with the just, answers. Just go and just click, click, ask, and anything. Nothing. We can't is off guarantee limits. it will be helpful. I can guarantee <laughs> that to me it'll be the most perfect thing. I've tell, ever tell them what the blog is. Give them the address of the blog. Is which, which, what's the key? Uh, you can go there. Uh, hi, please. Hi, everyone. Go to dealbreaker.tumblr.com now. When you when you go to Tumblr, don't use an e. T u m b l r. Right. Dot com. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're just, you're gonna find yourself there. There's a lot of stuff. There's pictures of us. But click on <laughs> ask. And just ask us an anonymous question because we'll answer it. Mm -hmm. And and the thing is, is that since we started answering these questions, I, my theory is that a lot of them are younger people, uh, say early college, late high school. They're still figuring out those like early social interactions. It's not like you ever necessarily get great at them, but like that's your first foray you into that yeah, world. But you can sort of like adjust to the fact that it's not always going to be perfect because we get mm -hmm. dozens of them. I like I've liked this guy forever. We're really great friends. I don't know what to do. I, how can I be sure if he likes me? And and I've always, any time that it's, I'm a freshman in college and my boyfriend, I, or I like this guy and he lives in the other building across from me and I can tell he likes me, I, my all my party line is always, it doesn't, just just say you're going to kiss mm -hmm. him and do it. Just do it. Just try it. Because yeah. when you're 18, 19, 17, 20, 22, I mean, I'm 27, I still, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> you just say, I'm going to kiss you, and you do it, and then that person's like, I don't like that. Then that's fine. Then you know for a fact that it's not an option anymore. Yeah. But if worst they like case, it, 
Worst and, case scenario, it goes terribly, and then you have an awesome story to tell on a date, you know. You five awesome years story, later, yeah, when the wounds have healed, and it like, comes off as totally charming and adorable. It's fan it, you know what? It's a fantastic thing to, say, to actually say it. Yeah. You just say it, and then you... And then you this and this you is happening, it. and you can deal with it one of two ways. You can turn your head, right. and that'll be the best mm -hmm. indicator. How do I know she's not into it if she rejects Yeah, your, if you do a lean face. in and it's just like, oh, she's whoa, like, what's over here? Oh, cool, I didn't know, see whoa. that painting. Whoa. It's hard, you're like in an old, look at those ceilings. Oh. I, cool, I, I think like it would Batman? Be, I awesome. think it would be very interesting to actually like lay, you know, you lay it out. Mm -hmm. You say, look, here's what's going on. I'm going to kiss you, and here are the kind of options that we can do. You can think of it like earthquake preparedness. <laughs> Here's what can happen. This worked. No, no, no. But I think it's so funny. I think yeah. it's such a funny thing to do. I think I think I've drawn up a document that I, I think want you to disarm. Take a look at. You disarm the, Definitely. the moment. Definitely take you know? take the pressure of it. And I feel like a technology maybe is a little bit of a culprit because I know if I were a kid growing up with where my most of my interactions with people was like like this, yeah. I don't think I'd be very good at like. It's, it's breaking horrible. the ice like that. I don't think it's going to get any better for people who are like 11 years old now. I mean. It's You're gonna really get, in it's trouble. Getting, getting worse. <laughs> you, get you don't have to show up. You don't have to do yeah. anything. It's just, hey, you know, some kind of code. Weird yeah, code and there's like have. subtext to it, like it, it, how many exclamation points you put yep. if you put a smile. Like there's people, people read into that and it's like the you piece, spend yeah. 30 minutes slaving over the reply to a text message. Being oh, yeah. Like, hey, what's up? A oh, what should I say? Text game. Yeah, yeah. Your, your text uh, 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 maneuvers mm -hmm. are almost as important as your in, in person ones because. It's so yeah. much easier to, to flake on a situation or to, or to sort of uh, play coy or, or string someone along or just or even just be indecisive with technology. And you call it freeze out. Well, there is yeah. There's a facet of it that's called the freeze out, which is. Uh, and what is that? Talk. Tell us about the freeze out, and then we got we got two things that I really want to talk to you about. Well, the freeze out is, and and I will say, right off the bat, that it doesn't work. <laughs> it is it is a it is a faulty premise to begin with. Right. But the freeze out is when you, in this electronically, so via email, G chat, I chat, Facebook, anything texting, where you say I'm not going to talk to this person, and that's going to make them want to talk to me, which is, it's, that's existed forever, uh, but with the internet, it's gotten so much crazier. We can say, I'm going to make my Gchat status available, and I'm going to say something like, having a great time, getting ready to go out, yeah. Uh, and then you look and you say, oh, she, she's online. I want, I'm just going to lay gonna back. I'm going to change my Facebook profile picture to one of me in a bikini <laughs> holding a yep. margarita. Oh, You'll know I'm doing just fine without him. What oh. if I updated my status <laughs> from my cell phone so they can see the little phone icon and know that I'm not at home, even though I could be and just updating it sitting at my, yeah. on my couch and say, drinks with the guys. Man, I'm wasted because that makes me look super casual. I'm not waiting for her to text it's me. It's like back. this image thing that, like, it's. I mean, did that? I, I don't. I think I, that's new. Caring it doesn't about work. Your, we went your from PR. we went from the we went from the Civil War love letter. Yeah, exactly. To John Favreau and swingers leaving, leaving the messages on answering the answering machines. machines to this emoticon thing, whatever it's this terrible. is. This is non emoticon. Oh,